I don't know. This could be another power up right here. This could be the undoing for the Mets already. The ball is stuck in between the crates. Could this be another inside the park home run for Nomar? It is. How's it going, y'all? Welcome back to our Backyard Baseball 2003 Tampa Bay Devil Rays season playthrough. It is game 11. We are in the home stretch of the series. And, you know, even though we only won our last game 5-1, uh, to one, it did feel like somewhat of a bounce-back game, uh, mainly because Nomar Garciaparra came out of nowhere and played out of his mind, had three hits, was three for three, including an inside-the-park home run and a two-run homer out of the park to seal the deal and send the Monsters uh, packing. So as far as stat attributes go, unfortunately, Pablo Sanchez is having a, uh, a hitting reduction. He's down to just five batting this is the second time this has happened hopefully it doesn't affect his uh, hitting too much everything else is okay and then um, uh, Ahmed Khan is down to nine batting just four running and just four fielding as for their team though we are playing the New York Mets again uh, they got some decent players on their team they got Mike Piazza although he's not having a good day today he's got some stat reductions and they have Maria Luna um, their pitcher is absolutely ridiculous I think her name is Lindsay Filgate I think that's how you pronounce her name 10 at batting 10 running and then seven pitching she is insane however it is important to note that two of their outfielders uh, Jennifer Goodfellow and Rafael Hendricks although they are both amazing at batting they are horrible at fielding and they are very slow as well as you can see Jennifer Goodfellow one at fielding three at running so I don't know why she's in the left field where the ball could easily get past her but I'll just say this if we can hit into the outfield there's a good chance that the ball will fall in and we get some big hits so with that being said let's get into this game we are 10 and 0 baby let's keep this train rolling we are back home at the paveway let's go and there it is from Randy Johnson got him looking three fastballs three strikes to start off this game let's go and there it is Three more pitches, three more strikes. Randy Johnson, great start so far. Let's see if we can beat our season high. We had 12 strikeouts a few weeks ago. Let's see if we can get that. Right, so here is Lindsay. She is batting 5-1-5 on the season. She's probably the team's best player. She's also their pitcher. We got to watch out for her. All right, two strikes. Let's see if we can get her with the corkscrew. Can we retire the side quickly? And she swings and misses. Nine pitches, three batters out. Oh man, Randy Johnson came to play today. And there's a quick grounder for Pete Wheeler. Can he beat this? Third baseman's got it. Not quick enough for Maria. She's running away. I don't know what she's doing. That's going to be a double for Pete Wheeler. Some uh, miscommunication in the field, and that's a great leadoff double. And there is a fl quick fly out from Ichiro. That's going to be an out. Pete Wheeler is safe, though. All right, so let's see what Pablo can do, even with his batting stat reduced. And that is a third strike from Lindsay. We nearly got it to a full count, but wow, that's a good pitch right there. Two outs. Here is Ken Griffey Jr. keeping up his furious home run pace. He's at nine on the season. But that is going to be a pop fly. Short in the infield. Three outs. We leave a man on. And that is a pop fly from Goodfellow. That is backed by the barrels. It's not a home run, but Ken Griffey Jr. lost it. Can he throw it in? This is going to be a double. Great way for the mess to start off. That's a grounder from Maria Luna, and she's got some speed. Throws it to Ahmed. Can he make the throw to third in time? He does. Great throw from Ahmed, and that is a double play. All right, elevator pitch low into the outside. Fourth strike out of the day for Randy Johnson, and we get out of there. We got screaming line drive. We're going to use it. No shame in my game. There it is. And that was off a power-up pitch as well, deep into center fielder. And we know that these uh, outfielders are slow. Ahmed, despite his reduction in speed, can he get to second? That's going to be close, and he will get there. Uh, we won't try third, though. Not fast enough for that. Good hit, though. And we have an undergrounder now. We might say that for later. You know what happens when we stack these power-ups. Ahmed is very slow. Keisha has that speed, though. And we're going to send Ahmed home. He stumbles a little bit. Can he get there in time? Felgate throws it in, and she messes up one run. 
Let's go. Here comes Nomar Garcia Parra. Had a great game last week. Three for three. Two home runs. Screaming line drive. Pass the center fielder. And I don't know. This could be another power up right here. This could be the undoing for the Mets already. The ball is stuck in between the crates. Could this be another inside the park home run for Nomar? It is. He's turning it on late in the season. Wow. How about Nomar Garcia Parra, ladies and gentlemen? Now we have Undergrounder and Crazy Bunt. Let's see how far this goes. Into the outfield. They are out of position. Could Amir have an inside the park home run? This is what happens when you have slow outfielders. This is what I was talking about, guys. Could this be? <laughs> I can't believe how this is working out. Inside the park home run for Amir. This could be another blowout, ladies and gentlemen, in the making. You know we got to try the underground with Randy Johnson. There it is. He's got a, sp a speed in increase today. Could Randy Johnson have an inside the park home run? Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. The throw in is horrible. Randy Johnson's going to round the bases. Randy Johnson. 5 0. <laughs> I can't believe this, guys. And just like that, they are already sending in their backup picture, pitcher, Stevie Lint. Wow. This is a massacre, ladies and gentlemen. Another undergrounder. How far will this go? And that's going to be a ground rule double. Wow, man. They, they, they need to come up with a new strategy, guys. Now we have Ichiro up to bat with a crazy bunt. You know what can happen when there are two fast base runners on base. Maria Luna picks that up, and that's just going to be a double for Ichiro. Wow, good for them that you picked that up. That's going to be a pop fly. But even if this isn't out, we're going to send Pete home. Sacrifice fly for Pablo Sanchez, 6-0. Pop fly for Ken Griffey Jr. This is going to be shallow, but they are out of position. What on earth was that? We are going to send Ichiro home. I don't know what on earth that was, but uh, they just let the ball fall next to him, and Ken Griffey Jr. gets away with what should have been an easy fly out. And there is the first strikeout of the day for Stevie Lynn. That was a well-placed pitch. And that is some power from Keisha Phillips. Putting it right where the center fielders can't get. Pardon me. I don't know why I keep saying center fielders. That's going to send Ken Griffey Jr. home and yet another double today. So Stevie Lint allows three more runs, but he does get him out of there with two strikeouts. And, uh, well, looks like we finally woken up, huh? Five strikeouts now for Randy Johnson. Y'all, it looks like it could be one of those games. Elevator pitch high and outside, and that's a line drive from Rafael Hendricks. Good hit right there. Pablo messes up, and this could be a hit for the Mets. It is just up there, and they get a batting power up. Screaming line drive. Ichiro's got to get it. Can Ichiro throw it back in? Ichiro, look at that throw, and that is an out. Wow, what a throw from Ichiro. Screaming line drive yet again. This could be a war of power-ups right here, guys. Ken Griffey Jr. throws it back in. Pete Wheeler to Nomar. To Randy Johnson covering third base, and we escape, y'all. Here's Amir Khan with a hit deep to center field. Can the center fielder get under it? And he does. That's going to be a grounder, but should be an easy out for the pitcher. Two outs. Pete Wheeler has two doubles today. Great start for him. And that falls in. Pete Wheeler has been striking out a lot lately. So we have no runs in that inning. Let's see if we can keep him off base. I think they still might have a batting power up in the upper sleeves. That's going to be a pop up. Amir's going to get under that. One out. And Lindsay lays down a bunch. She's got some speed. And that could be a hit. Wow, impressive. All right, Randy Johnson. Can he strike her out with a crazy ball? Pitches in. Grounder, Amir, to Nomar, one out, to Ahmed, he drops it, loses the double play, oh well, hit allowed. And they get a power up off that, thanks, thanks Ahmed. Low and inside, got her looking sixth strikeout on the game for Randy Johnson. 
And that is a grounder down the first baseline. Maria's got speed, but not fast enough for Ichiro, and he gets on base. That's a decent throw from uh, Mike Piazza, but not fast enough for Ichiro. Third steal on the season for him. I'm going to try something a little bit different here. And that is a bunt from Pablo. Let's see what we do when we send Ichiro. Throws it to third, and Pablo is safe. Interesting technique there. Home run leader on the season has a line drive. Ichiro is going to go home. 9-2-0. Still no outs. We're up 9-0 with two men on. And that is another strikeout. I think I had my cursor right on where the ball was, but oh well. Here's Keisha Phillips, who also has two doubles on the day. And wow. That was a great... That was a great frozen pitch right there. Full count for Keisha Phillips with one out, two men on. We'd love to send Pablo and Ken Griffey home. That looks like it's going to be low, and he walks Keisha Phillips. Bases loaded. Here comes Nomar, who has been playing so well lately. Bases loaded for him with only one out. How was that a strike? Y'all see where the ball was? What was that? And that is a high fly ball for Nomar. Look at that. That's over her head. That scores Pablo. Going to score Ken Griffey Jr. and possibly Keisha. Keisha Phillips sent home. Nomar, we're going to send him to third. Three RBI triple from Nomar Garcia Parra. He's been playing out of his mind lately. Ah, but that is a fly ball from Amir. He's been hitting a lot of those lately. But Maria Luna drops it, of course. I have no words. Grounder down the third base line. Um, Ak Amir might go out. He runs to cover third base instead of... Th he, he easily could have thrown Amir out. I don't know what he was doing. And now the bases are loaded for Ichiro. Hard grounder. Is it going to get past... Ichiro was safe. Oh my gosh, that might have been a disputed call. Because he got, because he got, he got that throw there on time. I'm amazed that Ichiro got on base. He is 3 for 4 today. All right, base is loaded for Pablo. Normally this would be a great situation, but we know how his batting stats are reduced today. He hits a grounder. It bounces high. Amir is going to score, and the runners will hold. Wow. Clutch hitting from these boys right here. We're up 14 to nothing. And they have yet another pitching change. Rafael Hendricks is now on the mound. And, wow, I swung way too early at that. All right, so King Griffey Jr. goes down, and I think I just struck out with the bases loaded, didn't I? Yeah, I just did. All right, well, we are up 14 nothing, regardless, even though we left three on, as we have done so many times this season already. Quick grounder to Randy Johnson. Scoops that up, flips it to Ahmed. Easy out. And that is a hard grounder right to Nomar. Over, over to Ahmed's head. Wow, that was a bad throw. Well, actually, that was not a bad throw, but... Ahmed just was not ready for it. That's going to be a pop fly. Let's see if Ken Griffey Jr. can get this. Why does it not put me in position to make those catches? Like, like the... <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with my fielding. That should have been an easy out. I know that I have to move it to where the circle is red, but I saw the ball going where it was going, and it did not turn red, so I don't know what I'm doing wrong. All right, Randy, let's see if we can get him with this elevator pitch right here. Strikeout number seven on the day. Let's make up for my poor fielding right here. That is a quick grounder. Ahmed runs to cover the bag, and that's going to be a third out. That is going to be a pop fly from Ahmed. Like a few of our power hitters, he's not been hitting well lately. Uh, Mike Piazza doing the old catcher drop. I love this game so much. <laughs> And that is another strikeout for Keisha Phillips. I think next to Randy Johnson, she leads the team in strikeouts. Should not have swung it out, of course. There is a line drive from Nomar, but that's right to Maria Luna. Easy out. He's been hit with some impressive power lately. I don't know where this was early in the season. Wow, and I don't know why I swung at that, but that's actually a pretty well-placed grounder from Amir. And wow, that throw was horrible. Ahmed should have been out uh, yet again. 
It's amazing that he's on second base right now. And here is Randy Johnson. What do you do with Randy Johnson with two outs? Well, you just hope he hits a home run again. How did I miss that? That's like right in the home run spot. That's the dinger spot. How did I miss that? And that is a pop fly. Will Mike Piazza choke again? They are running into each other. No. He does not choke this time. All right. That was our last opportunity to bat. Let's see if we can shut him out here and go home. Eighth strikeout on the day for Randy Johnson. Not going to get his record, but still an impressive day for him nonetheless. Zigzag low and inside. Gets her looking nine strikeouts now for Randy Johnson. Our Jennifer Goodfellow is pretty much the sole highlight on the day. All right, Randy Johnson wants it. I might save the fireball for last. Oh, wow, and that is a great hit. Oh, my goodness. Serves me right for trying to mess around. That could be on top of the boxes. Ichiro, look at that speed from Ichiro. He came all the way over from right field, and that's a good hit from her. Wow. That's a batting power-up as well. I think, I, I think y'all already know what I'm trying to do here, though. I'm trying to juice up and then throw the fireball as my last pitch, but I've only got one strike. Let's try slow ball. I'm running the risk of them using their power-ups here if this is inaccurate. Oh, boy. But that is a pop fly. Randy Johnson is under it. Third out. We get out of here with a 14-0 victory. It feels great to get back in double digits. That was a fun game for sure. So let's check out these stats. Randy Johnson, nine strikeouts, 63 pitches. He did his thing. Batting, this was an interesting game. Everybody got a hit. Uh, Ishiro, who's been having some hitting woes lately, he was three for four. Good job from him. Everybody scored a run as well. That was great to see. Nomar Garcia Parra, though, continuing his incredible streak of games, five RBIs. And thanks, of course, to uh, the screaming line drive power ups, we had three home runs. All inside the park, Nomar, Amir, and Randy Johnson all got in on the action. Our power hitters are still in slumps right now. I mean, they're still hitting perfectly fine, but they're not, you know, going three for three or three for four. Um, Ken Griffey Jr., Pablo, and uh, Ahmed are in a little bit of slumps right now, but they were still solid. All of them were two for four today. Anyway, like I said, that was a fun game uh, right there. Hopefully, you guys tune in next week and you enjoyed that game. I will see you guys next week for game number 12. We're entering the home stretch here. Godspeed, y'all. <laughs>